Uzbekistan is hugely upgrading its transport infrastructure to help advance towards its goal of becoming a logistics hub for Central Asia. Until recently, freight trains from the Colrich Angren Basin had to cross two national borders to get to markets in the eastern Fergana Valley. That changed with a new rail route over the mountain pass. The new section includes two kilometers of bridges and the longest tunnel in Central Asia. Before opening the Angrampop railway line, we had to ship our products for the Fergana Valley through the Republic of Tajikistan. That was a slow and costly way. The opening of the Kamchik tunnels increased our shipping volumes to the Fergana Valley several times over. The two billion US dollar railway project's been financed by the Uzbekistan government and also international funding with the tunnel built by the China Railway Tunnel Group. It's boosted the local economy and made travel between the Fergana Valley and the rest of the country faster, cheaper and safer in all weather conditions. With billions ploughed into the construction of new railways and roads in recent years, Uzbekistan's wider goal is creating efficient travel corridors through Central Asia and in the long term enabling direct seaport routes that will simplify access to international markets. Of course, the most important task for Uzbekistan is to open routes to seaports using the most economical mode of transportation, that's by rail. It's no coincidence that over 7 billion US dollars have been spent and that 2.5 thousand kilometers of railways have been built in Uzbekistan over recent years. One of only two double landlocked countries, Uzbekistan built a railway to Mazar-e-Sharif in Afghanistan and is coordinating with other countries to extend it to the Persian Gulf and Indian Ocean. In his recent speech to the UN, President Shavkat Mirziyoyev proposed establishing a regional center for the development of transport and communications. With new facilities like the gas to liquid plant nearing completion in the country's south, Uzbekistan's shifting from exporting its natural gas to processing it locally into products with high added value, including fuels for domestic industries and transit transportation. The gas to liquid technology allows the processing of pre treated natural gas produced at our fields, namely methane, into environmentally friendly synthetic liquid fuels. What will be the third biggest gas to liquids factory in the world will produce kerosene for airlines, diesel for agriculture and other industries, liquefied petroleum gas for vehicles and naphtha to make plastics. A reliable supply of fuels should help Uzbekistan's goal in becoming a hub. Uzbekistan occupies a pivotal position in the Central Asian region. It is, of course, the crossroads of all routes from both north to south and from west to east. We understand that for the infrastructure to be of value, it needs to be used. And we will only have users when we provide all companies transiting our republic with land or air transportation with environmentally friendly fuel that meets international standards. And this plant will be producing just such fuel.